We've got this uh, 03 Honda Civic here and uh, as you can see this bumper has had a rough go of it lately. You can see the damage right there and there's quite a bit of damage right there and right there if that shows up on the camera. Evidently there was some uh, debris in the road and the vehicle hit it on the highway and you can see it even damaged the, uh, the wheel cover here. So we're gonna go ahead and get it replaced. Get this thing fixed up and looking good. And for the bumper we're gonna use this aftermarket bumper and this one uh, I ended up getting it off Amazon and you can see it comes painted. You have to give them your uh, your paint code off your car which I'll show you where to get that in a minute and um, and then you order the correct bumper for whatever vehicle you have and then they uh, they take that bumper and they paint it for you using the uh, using the paint that uh, matches your uh, vehicle and then they ship it out to you. I think the whole process took about a week and a half for me to get this so we'll uh, we'll see if this bumper is any good and to find your paint coat on most of these uh, these Hondas you look right here on the tag and then right there you can see NH578 that is uh, that's the paint coat for this vehicle and if you didn't know that's Tefeta white and Honda used this color for I don't know 20 years or something like that till they changed out in recent years but uh, that's that's what you'll need if you want to uh, get a pre-painted bumper like we're putting on and most of the time you you buy a bumper and it just comes black or primed black or gray and then um, then you have to put it on then you have to repaint it and uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain especially if you don't have all the painting supplies or if you don't have a good paint booth um, so this is a good alternative just buying a pre-painted bumper and putting it on it's something uh, something you can do at your house or heck even out in the uh, out in the front yard if you needed to and uh, make your vehicle look better you can see that's what she looks like out of the box all right what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go bring the jack right over here and see if you can see it right here see this arrow that points to where your jack point is right here where this hole is we're gonna put the jack on there and put some jack stands underneath this so we get a little more clearance underneath here to work. And right here, on each side, right where these, right where these brackets are, we're gonna put the jack stand right there on both sides. And as you can see, I'm gonna chalk the rear wheels. Now you can probably get this bumper off and get the new one on without jacking it up. I just find that it's easier to get it up off the ground a little bit so we can get uh, access to those clips. Alright, while we're right here, we might as well get these off. We got one here, one here, one here, and one here. They're just little clips. You gotta pull them up a little bit and then pull the whole thing out. Uh, normally, what I'll use on these, just a little pocket screwdriver and then these uh, specialty uh, clip pullers or clip removers. Uh, I believe these are made by Lyle. Uh, but yeah, you just get up under it on the side a little bit. Just lift it just a little bit and then you can grab it with the tool and just pull the whole thing out like that. Try not to drop any of the pieces like that. And while I'm thinking of it, basically to take any of these Honda bumpers off, it's a series of clips, screws, and a, usually there's a couple of bolts, usually 8 millimeter bolts I believe. And that's, that's what's holding the whole thing around. So that's all we're going to do is just go around the horn and uh, take all those clips, screws, and bolts out. Alright, next up there's a couple of 8 millimeter bolts. Right right there at the tip of my finger 
one on each side. All right, we just need to go ahead and get those out. That's it right there. We'll get the other one out. We'll do the same thing with this one. All right, I'll take you under here. Yeah, let's see. Starting over at the edge, we got another one of those clips that we need to pull out. And coming this way, we got a screw here. And then uh, there should be a, another one of those clips here, here, right here. There's one missing here because of the damage. And there's another screw there, and then another clip all the way at the end. And then we also have these bolts here that hold these brackets in place for this uh, rubber piece. And uh, so we'll go ahead and loosen those up too. There's several of them all along here. You can see there, there, and there. I'm gonna loosen those up too, and I'm gonna see if I can salvage this piece and get it on the new one. If not, then we won't put it on, but uh, hopefully we can get this piece back on there. All right, we'll get this clip over here first. Sometimes these clips on the bottom are a little more of a pain. See what I mean? We'll get the screw right here. And we'll get this 10 millimeter bolt. That's what it looks like. See if I can get these two. Ah, these are really chewed up. You know what? Safety glasses. Yeah, if you didn't know, these pieces come in two pieces like that. And just, that one snaps in and then that one's supposed to lock it in place. After 15 or 20 years, they start to get in bad shape. Get this one right here. And we'll get this screw. And we'll get this last one.
You can see these brackets here. That's what holds this rubber piece in place. And they just kind of go up in there like that. And then they're bolted in place. So yeah, they just have that little tab right there that just kind of slips in and holds in place like that. And you bolt it up in there. Now you can see because of the damage, this is how it's clipped in. Along here and along here. And it's the same way over here all the way around and so if we got all the fasteners out we should be able to pull this thing apart and come and make it come off so see if we did it right and you can see it wasn't held down by much more after uh, we got all those clips out Now these, this little uh, absorber here, these little notches, this one and this one, they just go into the holes right here, one here and one here. Just goes like that, kind of sits in place, as long as it's not damaged or broken. And if I remember correctly, these little notches right here should be going up. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they go up like that. Now it's a good idea. Before you do anything, get both bumpers together, look at them, make sure they look correct. These ones look good. It is an aftermarket bumper, but it, it looks close. And um, this little rubber strip, yeah, it should just peel right off, just like that. See if we can't get it on the new one. And the front grill right here, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to take this screw out right here and this one and then we just need to pop out these four plastic clips also. Don't have enough room to get our tool in there but somehow we just got to pop these back through. Alright, let's go ahead and get these two screws out. Yeah, we'll see if we can't just sneak in here with a screwdriver and pop these loose. Now to get it off, what we're going to do is just slide it forward. Just like that. Just kind of clips in with these right here. Alright, we'll just try to slide this back in place.
I'll get these two screws back in. Remember, it's just plastic. We need to crush them down. Once they snug up, that's it. We'll strip them out. These old clips get damaged over the years. It's not a bad idea to uh, pick up some new ones if you're going to do a job like this. Uh, I keep, you know, assorted Honda clips and stuff on in stock so it's up to you but it's not a bad idea all right using some clean gloves see if we can't get this thing set back into place Sometimes when you have prior damage like this, this thing is all on the inside, it's bent in. Um, you just have to do the best you can. Um, that, that's as good as it's going to get without removing inside here and straightening it. If I just try to pull on this, it's going to crinkle the paint. So we're going to leave it just like that. And make sure you tuck the black liner. It should go inside the bumper. The white should be on the outside. Get the rest of these clips in up top. Sometimes these aftermarket parts don't fit perfect. You got to do a little finessing. Finessed.
As soon as it snugs up, stop. All right, I managed to salvage the uh, the black trim that goes underneath there. So because of that, we're gonna have to put these back on. They just kind of slide in like that. So I'm just gonna reach up under there and slide these in. All right, so you can see there's one, two, three, four. You can just reach behind there and slide them right in. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just take these brackets, slide them back up into place, and then just start the screw or start the bolt. That way they're just in position for the rubber piece. And then when we get the rubber piece up there, these will tighten down and clamp it. All right, I'm just gonna Stick this up there like that. It'll stay. Of course it won't. But yeah, I'm just going to stick it up there like that. And then put the bolt in. I can't do it one-handed. We'll just leave it loose like that. And while we're under here, we'll get as many of these clips as we can back in here. All right, and for the screw right here, you got to get all three of these pieces lined up and if you can see in there that there's that metal piece right there so the screw has to go into that metal piece so you got to get them all lined up and get the screw into it And just when it gets snug, good. All right, now that we got the screws in and the brackets and all the little clips, well, we can go ahead and uh, install the molding. Um, I went ahead and used all new clips because the other ones were just too damaged. And these uh, ones over here in the corner, we're going to leave those out for now so that way we can, uh, when we put the molding on, that molding will will be held in place by that last clip. Alright, we should be able to take, I think I can reuse this, should be able to take this, put it back on there. Um, those clips will go in all the way at the end, one on each side, and then uh, it should just slide right into this groove right here. And then those little brackets will grab right underneath there and we'll tighten them up and it'll clamp down and hold it. Alright, once we get it all into place, we can just zip these brackets down. Alright, now that it's installed, let's get this thing back on the ground see what it looks like.
Well, there you go. That's what it looks like all finished. Um, it looks 100% better. Uh, the only difference basically between this one and the old one, the old one or the original one, the, that grill in the middle was painted black. Where this one, they painted it all white. But uh, it's not bad at all. This setup, this thing was $209. That's painted and shipped to the house, and then all you have to do is put it in. That's not bad at all. Um, it, is the color absolutely perfect? No, but it's hard to match paint that's uh, 15 years old. Um, you'd have to take it to a specialty, you know, paint and body shop that's good at uh, paint matching to do that. But for something that's a DIY that you could do it at home and definitely uh, make it look a lot better than it was if, you, if your bumper's missing or all bashed up, this is definitely um, a great alternative. And if you went with the uh, Honda bumper, uh, that one I believe is more than $209 just by itself and then you'd have to get it painted. So uh, this setup right here is cheaper than buying a, a brand new uh, Honda bumper. Um, but in any event, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to take the bumper off and reinstall it with a pre-painted bumper. And uh, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.